Mm. The taste of victory. What's up, Facebook? What's up, YouTubes? Bobby C here, a.k.a. Catfish. I'm going to enjoy me another swig of this good old-fashioned. Well, it ain't old-fashioned. It's just regular Pilot Flying J coffee. Mm. Good stuff. How about them balls? I tell you what, it sure is great to be a Tennessee volunteer. Uh, Lamonte Turner was cold in the first half, but man, did he turn it on. Hit two or three uh, three pointers there um, in the second half. Admiral Schofield was on fire. I uh, see Ryan Shrick's in the YouTube chat. I don't know if we've got anybody in Facebook, but we're doing this Facebook youtube simulcast and i want ryan Shrek, crazy ryan one of my great youtube followers uh is a gator fan i've got a present for you there uh crying ryan i got me a victory cigar you say well victory cigar is just for uh football or just for beating alabama uh-uh uh-uh anytime you can beat the florida gators at anything it's worth the victory cigar. So, Ryan, I know you probably won't call the show. Uh, the Allied Oil and Tire Hotline's open, 855-489-7623. The number's on the screen there. But I'm trying to learn how to open this victory cigar, and I ain't doing too good. It says pull tab, and I'm a pulling tab, but it ain't opening. What have they done? I've smoked these before. I think the same. There we go. Uh-huh. Got a big old stogie. Uh. Anytime you beat Florida, like I said, in anything, I don't care if it's a tennis, it's a Tedley Winks, softball, football, baseball, and like tonight, basketball. Tennessee wins their 18th straight school record. I believe I heard Bob Kessling say we've won 22 in a row at home. Takes our record, get this, to 22 and 1. Only loss being to Kansas in overtime. I see MCD Sports is in the house. Glad to have y'all in here. I don't know if we'll have anybody on Facebook or YouTube. I may even go over and look and see what's going on in on Facebook. We'll see. I, I don't even know how to do this. I'm supposed to be simulcasting on both YouTube and Facebook. I'm trying to get my Facebook page going. And uh, let's see here. Let me see if I can figure this out. I don't even know what I'm doing. I need my grand youngins to come show me how to use this computer. Cause I, I'm not good at it. Let's see. While it's refreshing, Ryan, I want you to watch this. Mm, there was no gator chomping going on by the gators today. I heard a lot of people say that if they beat us, they was going to do the gator chomp to pay us back. But, uh-uh, not going to happen. Mm. Yes. Let's see. I don't even know if I'm streaming. Let's see what I'm doing here. I, I know my YouTube's working. Let's see if my my Facebook is working. Well, what'd y'all think about that? Are y'all ready for the Alliance Football League? I'm thinking about streaming it. Steve Spurrier is playing tonight against Atlanta. And I'll tell you what's so good about that Alliance League. And I'll get back to the live chat on YouTube in a minute. But I'm checking something out over here. Uh, is you can get this app uh, and watch the games. Anybody heard about that? Uh, I, I don't even know what I'm doing over here. I'm trying to find Volunteer Roadshow. Maybe I can go on my phone and get it. Mm. Let's see. Let's see if I'm even streaming. It may not even be working. I pay so much money for this program. I hope it works. Well, it's working. We've got four of them over there. Let's see if I can see the comments. I'm going to try to comment. Oh, my boy, Matthew Haskell's in the house. Henry Riddle's over there. 
Henry says, uh, glad to have you, Henry, watching me on Facebook. Mainly do this on YouTube, on Volunteer Roadshow. He says, man, I'm telling you, it feels so good to be a Tennessee volunteer. He also says, Florida felt disrespected after we did the chomp in Gainesville. Just imagine how they're feeling now after getting blown out in their revenge game. Go Big Orange, he says. How you doing, Matthew? How you doing, Henry? I'm going to go back and look at my YouTube uh, stream and see who we got over here. Darkness God, I had not seen you in a while. Glad to have you back. Joshua Simmons. Great Georgia fan, Gate City Blue Devil. Everybody saying what's up, Catfish. Joshua says go dogs. I don't know. Did you play today, Joshua? What do y'all think about that Alliance Football League? Anytime we can root against Steve Spurrier, who's coaching Orlando, I'm going to take it. I, I, I'm pulling for Atlanta. Now, I think Memphis is going to be my team in uh, – in the Alliance League. I, th there's a lot of good things about it. Bet, Big Dog Brett, uh, who runs a good Georgia Bulldog YouTube channel, he, he's talked me into it. My regular co-host on my Friday night call-in show, Couch Coach, Georgia fan, I, he says he's going to watch it. Got Daryl Cox in the house. Good to see you guys. Um, uh, Dustin Graham, good to see you. He's one of my Facebook friends. He says, Barnes is a gator killer. You heard that, Ryan. But anyway, I don't know if anybody wants to call in, but the Allied Oil and Tire hotline is open. Allied Oil and Tire has locations in Omaha, uh, Wichita, Kansas City, Joplin, and Des Moines, Iowa. I use the Joplin location. A lot of times, Brett Black's on the YouTube uh, channel. He's good enough to sponsor the show. And Shane Bentley, one of my Patreon members, is in the YouTube chat. He says, well, cheers to hopefully UGA getting at least one more win this season. I don't know, but y'all got a good coach. Tom Crane's a good coach, Shane. Derek Grooms is in here in the house. He says, Vols are winning the national championship this year without a doubt. I promise you that, uh, Derek Grooms. Glad to see you. I had never seen you in here. Of course, I can't watch the live chats now that I'm doing this simulcast like I used to. Space Mountain, I was wondering, Space Mountain, if he's going to show up on YouTube. Great Florida fan. How you doing, buddy? Good to see you in here. And uh, Gate City Blue Devil says, Couch Coach reminds me of Glenn Danzing. That's funny. <laughs> Gators need a basketball coach, Space Mountain. Is that what you think? I don't know about that. I think they need to keep who they got because we need to keep beating them. Be beating them. I tell you what, what do y'all think about Rick Barnes? Uh, I just think he's just turned out a lot better than I thought he would. Looks like we got a call coming in. Let's see who this is. It's better be crying, Ryan Gator fan. Let's see what we got. You're on with Catfish. Who do we got here? Uh, you got Ryan. You got Ryan. Did you take that butt whooping like a man, or are you crying about it? I mean, this this game really wasn't anything for us. It was really on you. If you win, congrats, you were supposed to. If you lose, you're just embarrassing. So, congrats, you were supposed to win, and you won. <laughs> you didn't have any confidence at all in your team coming into this game? Nope. None? <laughs> mm. mm, not really, no. <laughs> Do you have any confidence in your football team beating the Tennessee Volunteers this next season? I wouldn't if I was you. I have I have more confidence in my football team being your football team than you did your basketball team beating my basketball team. That is crazy. Get out of here. You must not be doing too good in school. <laughs> Are your grades good? You got a girlfriend yet? No. Uh. I'm watching Orlando. I'm going to watch Steve Spurrier mop the floor with everyone. No, he's not. Just no, like he not. used to. No, everyone. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Did you, get yes, the, he did, is. did you get the Alliance of American Football app where you could watch that on your phone, you know? That's pretty good. The tickets are cheap. I hear the tickets like 20 30 bucks to go to a game. Is watch, I didn't hear it. Could you watch like it live on your phone for free? I, I think so. It's free. That's what they've been advertising. I, I've downloaded cool. the app today. I was That's thinking cool. about live streaming one of the games. I don't know. But I'm going to pull for Memphis. Uh, there's a lot of balls over there on the Memphis team, the Memphis Express. Uh, of course, Chris <laughs> Sims is over there. At, uh, well, I was watching. What's that? Uh, I was watching 
CDD earlier, and he goes, well, there's a lot of former balls on Memphis. You know, go figure. There's a lot of former balls in, in the early power rankings. Memphis is stated at eighth best, a.k.a. worst. So, Well, how could you have a power ranking on a league that hasn't ever played the first snap of football yet? That's what I want to know. Off, based off talent. Based oh. off talent, experience, coaching. There's a reason why Orlando's probably the best, and it's because they have the best coach. Oh, get out of here. Somebody said Arizona was supposed to be the best. <laughs> I don't know. But I just want Steve Spurrier to go I down. Don't know. He's going he's gonna to lose four in a row, and he's going to quit midstream like he did over there at South Carolina. You know it, and <laughs> I know it. No, no. Are you really pumped about Steve Spurrier? You're not really old enough to – I got a trivia question for you. And by the way, I'm sending out your gift. As soon as I get home, you won a trivia question on one of my last shows. Mm -hmm. But who was mm -hmm. the last uh, team that Steve Spurrier played in the swamp, and what was the outcome? Oh, the last team he played in the swamp? Yep. I don't know why. I mean, I could take an edge. 2001? Yep. One year before I was born. How was I supposed to know? Um, I'm going to take a guess. Uh, see, my gut wants to say that it's Tennessee because you're trying to brag about it, but I guarantee it wasn't. <laughs> it was. It I'm was like a year. To it was. And really? That, that, that was the year they had, uh, the week before the Tennessee-Florida game, September 11th, happened. They postponed all those games and pushed it to the end of the season. And Steve Spurrier told Philip Fulmer after the game, you kicked our butt every which way you could kick it. That was one of the greatest games I've seen. And, man, that's got to be top five. It was so great. We ran was, all over you guys. Travis Stevens was a beast. What, what was what was Steve what was Steve Spurrier's record against Tennessee though at Florida? What was it? Well, I don't know, but he lost in a downpour, I think, in ninety two <laughs> at Neyland Stadium, like forty something <laughs> nothing or three or whatever. Yeah. I don't know. Gate City Blue Devil. I don't have my live well, chat up. But let's see. What was that score that downpour, uh, Gate City? Uh let's see who else. Probably was in bad. Here. <laughs> uh well Joshua Simmons got it right. He said Tennessee and U T won. That's right. We beat Steve Spurrier, his last game at the Swamp. And you're supposed to go out on top. He, he built the Swamp. It wasn't even called the Swamp, I don't think, before then. If they did, I don't remember it. But, you know, that was pitiful for Steve Spurrier. Now his name is on the stadium. Now his name's on the stadium. Yeah, his name's on uh, the stadium over in Science Hill, too. Uh, MCD Sports, a great Maryland, mm -hmm. Maryland Terrapin fan. He says Duke is beating Virginia by 12. Virginia's supposed to have a good team this year. Um, I don't know. Oh, Duke, I've been saying I've, I've seen that. I've been saying that Duke would beat Tennessee in the final four. I've just seen Duke. I think Duke would beat Tennessee. Uh, I want to. I don't want to say anything too quickly to make your heart skip a beat, Catfish. But I think Duke would beat Tennessee. Uh, I ain't buying that. I'm gonna go back and look at my Facebook. Got Barbara Beach Howell in here. Jordan Bone, my favorite player. Yep. Bowden, Bone, uh, um, Turner. Turner was cold in the first half. He he didn't even have a point. But when he nailed that three pointer, I think he hit two in a row. Man, he 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 lit it up. Admiral Schofield was on fire. Y'all just wasn't even any competition. I didn't have any doubts. Y'all jumped out on us early, but that that's just because we wanted to keep y'all from forfeiting the game at halftime. That was all. Oh yeah, we jumped out to a really 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 early one nothing lead. Yeah. That was a really good lead. <laughs> I think y'all were winning 3 nothing, if I remember right. Oh, Gate City <laughs> Blue Devil says 31-14 uh, <laughs> in the 92 game. I knew we beat you pretty good. That was a great game. I talked to Flint. He's a great Tennessee fan on the phone a while back, and he has one of his great memories. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm confident Florida's football will beat Tennessee's football more by a bigger score than Tennessee's basketball beat Florida's basketball. So. Oh, whatever. You know. Hey, hey, MCD Sports, you know who he <laughs> is. He's in my live chats a lot, Maryland fan. He says, now listen to this, you sitting down? He says the swamp is overrated. Yeah, I agree with him. Swamp ain't nothing. They should call it the mud puddle. Are you kidding me? Yeah, they should call it it's the mud puddle. The mud puddle. In the SEC. 
in the SEC and probably has the second or third best crowd influence in the SEC. Let's be real here. Well, Matthew Haskett, is one, Haskett uh, one. over on um, Facebook says Duke is a one-man team. Yeah, but Matthew at Zion, what's his name? Zion Williams, I don't remember, but he's he's a great Williams. player. Uh-huh. He, he's, he'll be a first pick player. They're already talking about he's going to go number one in the draft. I don't know. Uh, let's see what else we got in Facebook. You ever make it to any of all football or basketball games, Catfish? Yes, I do. I got to go to the tournament. Uh, the NCAA tournament last year. That was my first year doing YouTube. Got to interview some players, families, and a lot of fans. It was great. Didn't end up like I wanted it to. Um, Layola beat us pretty good. Clemson Carson's on my YouTube chat. Good to see you back in here. He's a new moderator. Uh, what I remember about that tournament last year is uh, – I interviewed some Leola fans, about six or eight of them. It's on one of my YouTube videos. And I asked them any predictions. I said, now, you're talking about the regular season SEC champs. You know, we were supposed to beat them pretty good. And he said it was going to be 61-60 with a last-second shot by their player who beat Miami on a last-second shot. And I said, there ain't no way. And that's pretty much what it was. I think it was 62-61. And that player, they said, was going to hit the last-second shot. I'd be darned if he didn't do that. I tell you what, that old lady, she got on my nerves. That that ninety year old nun. That's the only reason they went to the Final Four. But at least we lost to a Final Four team. And I saw a lot of Gator fans. I interviewed some Gator fans. Florida played their first round or two there in Dallas. That was a great experience. My first NCAA tournament um, games I've ever been to. It was great. And when you buy tickets, you get the tickets to that set of games for that day, and it was great. I, I watched Leola beat Miami, and then we played second. But See, Dennis Wilson, great Miami Hurricanes in the YouTube chat. What's up, buddy? Um, I don't know. Ryan, do you think Dennis's uh, Miami Hurricanes is going to give you all a run for your money next year in football? That's the first game nope. of the season, isn't it? Nope. Yeah, it is. They're not even going to be close. Not even – Dennis Wilson's been talking so much, <laughs> all these Miami fans, with their 30th ranked recruiting class, they're recruiting out of the transfer portal, they can bring it on down, and they can get smacked by a top 10 Florida team, and they come back down to earth where they to belong. Okay? Miami fans out here talk like they're going to be a top 10 team with a, and a coach that quit and came back after – like, what, two weeks at his new job? He don't know what he's doing. I, I want to – I got a question so for true. you, Dennis. And, and and Ryan will probably second this. How are you going to beat Florida with a 30th-ranked recruiting class? What was your recruiting ranking? What the ninth, uh, Ryan? Uh, uh, yeah, ours was ninth. Theirs was somewhere in the 30s, I think. That's <laughs> I just pitiful, remember Lou ripping pitiful, Dennis. for being in the 30s. You're going to have to get it together, Dennis, if you're going to compete with SEC. But you got to compete with uh, Clemson first. But anyway, well, I, I don't know if I'm going to do a live stream of that Alliance football. I'm just kind of getting excited about it. I seen my buddy Uncle Lou did a great hype video. He's on he's on board with the Atlanta Legends. And wouldn't it be funny if a, a former Vol, Chris Sims, who's the backup to Aaron Murray, who's legend there in Georgia, wouldn't that be funny if he beat him out and was the starter? That would be funny. But anyway, that probably set Uncle Lou on fire, though. Mm. Are you no, watching? Are, even great. are you even watching me smoke this stogie? Because you can't watch it. No, I'm not watching. Why would you? Well, I'm well, not watching that. No. Well, we'll go back and watch you, the replay. Why, well, you have well, you have the cigar. You wonder why you have the cigar because you didn't use it enough for, during football season. How many times hey, you smoke a cigar hey, during football hey, season? Hey, five hey, times. Hey, like hey, five. Hey. This is my show. This is my show. I bought a <laughs> case of them, and I, you're right. I didn't get to smoke any of them. But I tell you what, you know how many I'm smoking next year? I'm smoking fifteen. Of these bad boys next year. What do you think about that? So, then you must change it to losing cigars. <laughs> I, 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 that's all I can think of. Somehow you're gonna. If there's one team that can find a way to lose 15 games in a season, it'd be Tennessee. So. Oh man. 
Don't even start. You, you forget this is the Volunteer Road Show powered by Road Show Sports Network. This isn't the Gator Show, but you have been a great caller. Let me go through my Facebook again. Um, Henry Riddle says it, it does get insanely loud in the swamp, which that place would crumble and fall. Well, it hadn't been loud there in a long time. Heck, Ryan don't even know who his quarterback's going to be, let alone how many games he's going to win. I don't know who your quarterback's going to be because your quarter last year your quarterback got broken in half multiple times. But he's still standing. He's still standing. What's that song? I'm still standing. We got us two. That kid's got, two. That kid's got guts. That kid's hey. got guts. He got broken in half all year. <laughs> yeah, he's a tough kid. But we've got two five-star offensive linemen recruits this year. How many five-star offensive Are linemen did you get this year? None. We'll still get better protection than Tennessee will, though. <laughs> I don't know about that. Uh, Payton, Staten, Camer, Camilleri, VFL, and Jackson, Tennessee. Glad you're in my Facebook. I'm simulcasting on YouTube and Facebook. It's like my third or fourth time on Facebook. Uh, I'm trying to get it started. I bought me an expensive program where I can simulcast on both of them and I'm hoping at the end of this uh, stream, people can go back and watch uh, the end th this this stream on Facebook again. I, I didn't have it set up right the last time, but anyway, how's the girls' situation doing for Ryan at Farragut High School in Knoxville, Tennessee? Which still blows my mind. You're a Florida fan, still blows my mind. I'm too busy watching football. I told you, mm. football is everything. I'm having football with girls. It's been less than a week since football ended, and I'm still and I'm watching highlights of different football. <laughs> wow! Well, you're a smart man. I know you have basket. You have basketball. You have basketball to. Girls are just because you're good at it. Girls will just take all your money, and you don't need a girlfriend. You're way too young. <laughs> and, and speaking speaking of money, I got a super chat, a fifteen dollars super chat for my boy Flint up in Gate City. Whose whose high school basketball team's pretty good. He had a, they had a player that plays for Georgetown. I forget his name. He 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 did fifteen dollars because the fifteen and O's. He's right. He's right about that. Flint, I'm smoking fifteen of these stogies next year. I promise you that. Hound dogs in the house. Uh, one of your. Uh, I don't think he goes to Farragut. I think he goes to Bearden, don't he? I don't. Nah, know. he goes to Bearden. Yeah. Yeah. I think he goes to Bearden. Did Farragut beat Bearden in football, or did they play this year? I don't think they did. I didn't remember. Mac McClung. That's right, Gate City Blue Devil. It's Mac McClung. He was a superstar. Y'all need to go YouTube back Yeah. Here. He is good. He can slam, jam. I mean, he's they, they called him the White Iverson. That's how good he is. And he's lighting it up at Georgetown, where Patrick Ewing is their coach now. But anyway, good to see you in here, Hound Dog. BVD is in the house, one of my closest friends, Big Vol Daddy. He said Farragut did beat Beard. And I thought you was into football, Ryan. I didn't remember. I don't know. I, it gets a little old after a little bit of high school football. It's not taken as seriously. And also it gets old when the refs keep hating on Farragut. They do it every year. Well... Farragut did go to the playoffs. I'm looking over here at Facebook. I'm trying to look back at my YouTube. I got a lot more over on YouTube, but I got a few in the house on Facebook. Ron Harris, Gallatin, Tennessee. Go Big Orange. Love that Nashville area. Good job. Uh, Henry Riddle says Florida fans will kill your ratings, Catfish. Well, I've got a lot of Florida fans. Space Mountain, George, they, they're regular callers. Right, crying, Ryan. He's taking the place of that Ohio State fan that used to call in my show all the time, Delusional Paul. So we had to yeah, give him, we had to give you happened. a nickname, Crying Ryan. But uh, I, man. no, I was the first with the nickname. Don't even try. I, I had the nickname before Paul. I'm the original. I'm the original. <laughs> anyway, I don't know if we're going to get him. Whatever more happened callers, to Paul. But the phone lines are open. I'm going to still chat with Ryan while I can because I really do like Ryan. He's a Gator fan, but I like him. He's won a couple of things on this show. The phone number is 
888-727-7623. My YouTube's on fire. BVD does a great live stream over there, don't he, Ryan? He needs to get. He needs to sing yeah. some Lionel Richie songs. I'm gonna quit watching his live streams until he sings some Lionel Richie songs. So, BVD, you need to tell, tell, clear your vocal cords up and sing. Tell BVD to call in so you guys can talk basketball because that's all you guys know anymore. Yeah, BVD, you need to call in the show. You, you, you're the one that talked me into this YouTube thing. You need to call in, and we need to we need to chop old Ryan up. I'm gonna keep him on the phone if you call in. I'm going to let you have it because I've seen him over, <laughs> over on your live stream. So, anyway, Joshua Simmons says, I bet Grayson High School in Georgia will blow out Greenville High School in Tennessee. That might be true because uh, their uh, coach resigned this year after, I think, three state championships in a row. So, Greenville, they, they might be on the downswing. That's going to be like Alabama when Nick Saban um, – <laughs> retires when do you think nick saban's gonna retire ryan i don't know i'm still trying to think who's gonna retire first belichick or saban i still don't know <laughs> henry riddle on facebook says duke's up over virginia 39 35 at the half well somebody said and i don't know if it's facebook or youtube one of them said that was up by 12 a while ago virginia's supposed to be a good team i'd like to see Virginia give Duke their third loss. They've already lost two. One of them is to uh, Gonzaga, who we beat, who was number one. I see George is in the house, a great Georgia fan. He says he can't hang out in the chat because I'm doing something. Well, if you're smart, you're watching Volunteer Roadshow. And BVD says he's on hold. I didn't. I, BVD, I've got a lot of things going. I can't watch the call board. Let me get BVD on here. One of my closest friends, the guy that talked me into it, the legendary Lionel Richie. How you doing, BVD? Calls here once, twice, <laughs> three times a gator. <laughs> What's up, catfish? Not much. Just trying to chop old Ryan yeah. up. Is Ryan on the line, too? Yep, yep. Ryan on the line? Yep. <laughs> What what's up, uh, Strickhead? <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing good. How, how are you enjoying that big fat L we put on you about an hour ago? <laughs> I don't know if if you call that fat. What do you call the one in football that happened this previous season? I call that ancient history, brother. That's that was right. that was a, a whole season well, ago. I call, I call what happened about 20 minutes ago ancient history. I can't remember that far back. I don't recall that. I feel you, man. I've got CRS too, man. <laughs> <laughs> and to whoever whoever left that, whoever made the comment about some Georgia high school football team, y'all are lucky you didn't play the Green Devils last year. <laughs> Who's your coach this year? Did they name a new coach at Green? We don't. No, we we still don't have one. And believe it or not, I found out last week, and this is still surprising to me. We've only had three applicants. Really? Yeah. Yep. Two of them are guys that are currently on the staff, and the other one is a guy that uh, was on the staff three years ago, but left to take the head coaching job at uh, Cherokee High School. Oh. So it's it's probably going to go to it's probably I I pretty sure who's going to get the job i just don't want to say it because I, I don't want to be wrong for one thing but <laughs> my inside so, source tells you? tells me who's going to get it but anyway that's uh, that's a topic for another day today we're here to talk about the number one basketball team in the nation that's men's right. basketball <laughs> i'm listening so are both you going to be rolling with the memphis express no. Yeah. No. BVD. Uh, Joshua Simmons is asking in the in the chat box there, Catfish. Why don't I stream? I do, Joshua. I've been streaming a lot lately. I stream the Tennessee like, basketball games. Uh, like Twenty minutes ago. <laughs> yeah, I'll be streaming. I'll probably be streaming this AAF game tonight. And I'll definitely be streaming the national championship game when Tennessee beats Duke in basketball. That's right. Tell them. 
Hey, we got to talk to Smack right now, Catfish. It's the only thing we got shit. But it's the only thing we got to talk Smack about. Well, it's a lot to talk about. Did you ever think uh, we would be number one this long? It would be so Tennessee to go out and lose to Vanderbilt like we almost did, and we just—I'm just depressed with Rick Barnes. I'm just—I, you know, I was glad we hired him, but I wasn't that high on him because of Texas. He all—he never really did much. He was always had good teams and couldn't get over the hump, but. He is putting on a – he's got to be candidate for coach of the year. If he doesn't win coach of the year, I don't know what's wrong. Yeah, we'll see. I mean, it, you know, it'll depend on what we do down the stretch. Uh, I, You know, when they hired him, I wasn't really sure what to make of it. I actually thought that it would be like one of those uh, he'll coach two or three years on his way out and then retire. But he's – I mean, he's – he says he's still got plenty of years left in him. Yeah. Well, over on Facebook, I got Henry Riddle, who lives over there in Johnson City. I don't know if he's a Science Hill fan or what teams are over there, but he says Greenville has been dropping everybody. No coach around here honestly wants those kind of expectations. The pressure on the new coach will be very real. That's probably why they don't have a lot of people beating the door down. Who wants to follow Ballard? He was one of the greatest coaches in probably Tennessee high school history. Well, I mean, I wouldn't go that far. He He's uh, definitely probably one of the best coaches in Northeast Tennessee history, but he, as far as the state goes, man, there's been some really good coaches. George Quarles at Maryville, uh, Gary Rankin at Alcoa. Um, I, I can't remember the guy's name, but the guy down at uh, – uh shit ray county was pretty good for a long time i mean there's you know a bunch of great coaches in this state but i know he's definitely the best coach we've had here and that's all that matters and you know sure the next guy up's got a tough job but i mean to me if if you're worth your salt whatsoever you want to have a challenge like that yeah well, MCD Sports in the YouTube chat, who's a Maryland fan, he says, how do you UT fans feel about next Saturday against um, Kentucky? I, I still say BVD. We, it ain't going to be a bad thing if we lose. We even got a Kentucky fan on YouTube. We were the storm. How you doing? He says, hey, Catfish. Don't count Kentucky out. They had some struggles early, but me and BVD both said they'll be there at the end, and they're they're coming on strong. So, what do you think about this game coming up against Kentucky? It's at up Rump Rump Arena. Yeah, it's it's at Rump Arena, and I you know I've been saying for weeks now. I think our next loss will be at Kentucky, and I I don't see any reason. I really don't see any reason to change my thinking on that. Kentucky's on fire. And don't forget about LSU, man. They're right there at nine and one, also. Yeah. And we we still got to play them. I can't remember if the game's down there or up here. Yeah. Um, but we still got them and Auburn left on the schedule. Yeah. Well, everybody, I'm streaming on YouTube and Facebook. This is like my third stream on Facebook. I'm trying to get it going. And I see uh, Michael Moore. Uh, he says Tennessee grinds and grinds, and teams can't ke- keep up with these guys. Let's just keep pounding. Go Big Orange. He's right. We have been grinding. We've gotten down in a lot of games, and it's almost like, you know, we're, we're, we've got this. We've got this. And Henry Riddle answered my question. He said, yes, sir, I'm 100% Hilltopper. Represent the Hill. What do you think about the Science Hill guy? Uh, he's got a lot to be proud of, that's for sure. Basketball-wise, you know, Science Hill's one of the most uh, powerful – historically powerful basketball teams around Northeast Tennessee. DB, uh, I'm sure he's not too happy with what Dobbins Bennett's been doing with him lately, but yeah, yeah, it's hard to talk shit against a Science Hill fan. Yep. Steve Spurrier field. What, what does that make you feel whenever yep. you see that on their big, big scoreboard? Uh, you know, they also have a little, uh, video they play of him before each game. Oh yeah, and uh, you know, you know, uh, everybody knows that Spurrier would have been a Tennessee ball player if we hadn't been running the wing tee back then. That's right, and we wouldn't hate him, then, <laughs> would we? 
<laughs> That's right. We'd be loving on him. Well, let's get back to this Alliance football. Ryan brought up something that says we're ranked dead last in the Alliance football, whatever it is, league, AAF, or whatever. How in the heck, BVD, can you rank somebody, a team, that hasn't even played a snap in the league's history? And how do they know that Memphis is going to be dead last? Well, i tell you what I think, and I said the exact same thing in my live stream. How the hell can you rank teams that have never played a down? But I'd say the reason they've got Memphis dead last is because they, they, there's nine Tennessee former Tennessee ball football players in the AAFL, and six of them play for Memphis. <laughs> that, that, and one of them's a the jumper. <laughs> <laughs> Which... <laughs> Which which former ball is each of your favorite in the AF, AF? And which one are you most looking forward to seeing? Uh, favorite? They're looking for, most forward to seeing. Um, I, I'm looking forward to seeing what Rajon Neal can do mm-hmm. and uh, Corey Vereen. Yeah. He was always one of my favorite Tennessee defensive players. And I actually am surprised that he's not on an NFL roster right now. He got drafted, didn't he? Uh, I think I think he was a free agent, uh, undrafted free agent, but I'm not positive. I could be dead wrong about that. Well, Joshua Simmons, I don't know if you see that. He says, I still remember that YouTube video BVD made that said Cade Mays from Catholic High School will be a bust. I still remember that, BVD. Of course, his, his career is yeah, not over, I know. Joshua. Thank you very much. His career is not over, and I'm sticking to my guns. I'm saying he's going to be a bust. Mm. Why do you think he ended? I'm up more worried Georgia? about what his brothers, what his brothers going to do. Why do you think he ended up going to Georgia? There's a lot of rumors had something to do with Butch Jones. Why do you think he ended up uh, backing away from Tennessee and going to Georgia? I think it was all my fault, Catfish. <laughs> I think it's because he saw my comments about him being a bust. And I don't know, man. I I really don't know. You know, his, his mom and dad both are UT alums, and maybe it did have something to do with Butch Jones. Who knows? Maybe, or maybe, let's just be honest, maybe he didn't want to come up here and play for a shitty team. I don't know. <laughs> well, maybe that, he saw what you know. Maybe he saw what was on the horizon for Georgia. Well, we're not going to be bad for long because you know what? You know how many many cigars I'm going to be smoking this next season? Fifteen, fifteen, fifteen of them. You dang, that's right. right. So, what did you say about me smoking My, fifteen cigars? Crying, Ryan. Fifteen. We we're going to lose fifteen. That's crazy. I would say I'd say that you'd have to change them to losing cigars. And I'd say if there's one team that could find a way to lose 15 games in a season, Tennessee would find a way. Should I drop well, I, it? My question, my question is, Ryan, are you even old enough to smoke a cigar? <laughs> <laughs> no, and I don't want to. That messes up my lungs, bro. Uh, you're smart, then. Barely, you're you're a, you're a barely, smart gator. <laughs> I can barely breathe with the sinuses right now. How am I going to breathe with my lungs after a cigar? <laughs> Emory Morgan. Uh, that would probably be your best move. Whoa, 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 whoa. I haven't seen Emory Morgan. He started following me last year. Great Georgia fans in the house. He says hello. Where have you been, Emory? I've been looking forward to seeing you in here. You didn't even come into any of my streams I did on Georgia and Alabama and all that going on. I don't know. Good, 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 good to see you. So, Space Mountain says 15 cigars for three years. I tell you what, this is supposed to be a Tennessee stream. What's going on with Florida Georgia fans overrunning the Volunteer Road Show? Mm, mm, mm. I'll tell you why, Catfish. You're too damn nice. <laughs> is that what it is? Where That must be Tennessee's problem, too, because where do nice guys always finish? Well, this what? next year first. <laughs> There you go. Well, uh, what else? I don't know, man. Today I was watching Tennessee basketball. You were punching players in the face. I swear, I thought you were more. I thought that might have been like a football team out there. You're more physical on basketball. I swear. You gave one of my players a bloody nose. Like <laughs> good. I should have gave all of them bloody noses. 
What were you, you more doing? physical on the court than you are on the field, BVD? What were you doing, BVD? Do what, Ryan? What What was the question again? What were you doing with these players? He's talking about punching players in the face. No, Tennessee basketball players were knocking Florida basketball players in the face. Oh. I just call that good coaching. <laughs> I just I just call that a distinct advantage. <laughs> well, Henry, yeah, you can Henry, call it that. Henry Riddle over on Facebook says, "Come on now, guys, not a such thing as a smart gator. Y'all know this. He's right. It looks like some of my smartest viewers are over here on Facebook, not YouTube. We got a house full over here on YouTube, but glad to have you in here, Henry Riddle." Uh, Dustin Graham over there, one of my Facebook friends, says Admiral and Williams could play football. I know Admiral Schofield probably could play a tight end. I know that. What is he, 240? He's definitely built for it. I don't know if he's got got the height or not. But, you know, speaking of tight end and football, you know Eli Wolf has entered the transfer portal. Oh, no, really? Yeah, I what? Somebody tell me what the heck is that all? What? Why know. is it called a portal? Why is it called a portal? I've been. I thought a portal was something. I, 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 I thought it was because it means like they're looking to transfer, but they're not like officially transferring. Oh, okay. Like, like they're putting their name on like a list that's like, hey, I don't want to be here anymore. So if anyone wants me, contact me. <laughs> yeah, I heard catfish. That. Why am I not? Why am I not seeing you over here on Facebook? Because I'm under Volunteer Roadshow's Facebook page. Okay, okay, I got you. I might need to share that. I don't know how to do that. I'm gonna share that on on my. I'll, personal I'll share page. it for you. Hang, on. hang on a second here. Um, let's see. There you are. Well, back to the transport transfer portal i heard something similar to what ryan said uh it's to put your name in the hat and if you're in the portal then other teams are allowed to contact you if you're in the portal that's what i heard but i don't know I oh need to okay research, i need to research that yeah i think they could have came up with a better name than portal too that sounds like something like uh you'd see in the movie the fly yeah yeah <laughs> Or Star Trek. No, if there's one person, if there's one person that would know about the transfer portal, it would be Dennis Wilson, because that's what his team's recruiting out of right now. Oh, oh. <laughs> you and Dennis Wilson go at it in that YouTube live chat. Y'all, y'all can't be beating up on each other. Y'all need to play nice, but sometimes y'all go at it. I thought you liked Dennis. I did until he started spouting this crap. <laughs> what was he saying? He, he, I think he, I think he genuinely thinks Miami's going to be Florida. He genuinely thinks that. No, that's not reasonable. Uh, I don't know. Well, anyway, I appreciate you coming on and singing uh, some Lionel Richie. Depressed Tennessee fan is in the house. You need to change your name because we're number one. In the country. And we're fixing to be national champs in football, depressed Tennessee fan. Shane Bentley. Hey, this is the Shane Bentley show. He always comes through. My one and only Patreon member uh, with a four ninety nine chat says, All right, Catfish Nation, y'all have a good night. I've got to be a dad, give my kiddos a bath. By the way, Eli Wolf is transferring to Georgia, LOL. Hashtag go dogs. I hope not. I hope not. I hope not. But anyway. He is. He is transferring to Georgia. Is he really? Yeah. Piss on him. Good riddance. <laughs> well, anyway, appreciate the super chat there, uh, Shane. But anyway, can you sing us a Lionel Richie song that we can close out with before we go? BVD. Uh I look. I've already done my one singing. If they missed it, I'm just gonna have to say that's too bad. All right. Well, I appreciate you guys. Uh, for those of you new here, I, I do a Facebook and YouTube live stream every Friday night and some during the season and random times. 
Uh, hit that subscribe and bell button, and don't forget to smash the like button on Facebook and YouTube. But those of you that's been watching me uh, since BVD talked me into doing this YouTube, y'all know what's coming next. Thanks for tuning in. Go Vols. We're going to put the smackdown on Kentucky next week in Rump Arena. I promise you. Promise you that.